Greetings everyone and welcome to my channel. I remember um, a few months ago when I posted this video. And you might have noticed that radio in the background. Well, that is because the battery on my normal radio has kind of gone. Pretty crazy, you can see it occasionally flash here. And as soon as I pull it off of the old charger, it takes about 10 seconds, but then it you can actually watch it sort of drop. Now I can still use the find if it's on its charger, but basically with actually one of the connector ports is loose on the battery, so without really forcing it or even taping it, not device by the way, um, then this definitely limits how I can um, use it. With that being said, I present to you my newest addition uh, to the family. <laughs> and that would be the Eton Elite Executive. Watch as, like, the YouTube translator thing will somehow find that to be French or something. <laughs> but anyways. So, well, I have been using it, so there's not really a lot of unboxing to go here. But regardless, you can just about pull this out. And this is what you've got. Now... Um, it's really nice because of its own carry case. So, in deciding to go with this one, I've watched several videos from some of uh, your other channels, rather. Those of you who are... Like, I watch TV Radio 1972, for example. I watch Game on Sphere. I even watch Totterbert. They both gave me some... Well, they all gave me some excellent advice, rather. And so I chose to go with this one. It comes with this nice case, by the way. And you can see it here. The other thing that you could get in the box is this charging dongle, which I'll explain the unique way this radio charges in a moment. So with that, let's actually get on to the good old features. Alrighty then, we have unlocked the radio. May I say hi to one of my kitties? Alright, so with this being about the size of the palm of my hand, and really, for comparison purposes, I have a battery pack here. That is the the exact size of a phone and when I put it up to the Elite you can see that the Elite is just the slightly wider phone. It has more of that girth I guess you could call it. And I will admit some of the videos actually made this thing look really long. By the way that takes us to this antenna. It is currently in the short position. The long get to well past 31 inches in my experience and so this makes it very solid for um, different types of reception which I'll be more specific about in a moment. Alright so on the front here's our power button but you have to be really specific about how you press it or I'll do the sleep thing. So just going to give this a and you have to press and hold as well. There you go. And I still activated sleep mode. Haha. <laughs> Alright. So, number pads. This is what you would use to uh, enter your frequencies. You would have to... I believe you just tap the numbers you're interested, then followed by the band. And then it tells you FM and airband, long wave, medium wave, and then short wave. So this video does have a wide range of things it's got. Um, and 
for the $150 price point, it really does pack a punch. Uh, particularly, it adds FM, RDS, in other words, uh, song information or just text information in general. Um, which I'll show here. So, earlier in this video, I promised I would show you how that charging thing works. Again, basically, well, it's kind of um, complicated, I should say. You go to the back where it already. So, if you do double A batteries like this, uh, apparently there's no charging for you. Um, it apparently it does cause a bit of an explosion risk. Uh, batteries like these, I noticed. With active use, you get about a week out of this radio. If, but if you're not using it every day, all the time, this can actually get you a good solid month or two, or even further than that. Um, otherwise, you can insert what are known as NIMH batteries, I think, which then you can charge using this port over here. See if it'll ever focus in or not. Hmm. Yeah, I guess that's not happening to Oh wait. There it is. So where it says DC in, that is how it charges. Also you might notice headphones as well as an external antenna support. This sort of is the slider for if your radio gets overloaded a lot, switch it down into low. Otherwise, honestly, DX is really good for bringing in stations. Then on this other side, have the tuning knob, a volume line in, line out. Line in, line out. It's really good. So, for, like, line in is just so that, you know, you can plug your MP3 player into this thing. Or your phone, for that matter. But in reverse, line out, and I want, don't want to use this this word too uh, common because, well, yeah. But game is a game changer because now you can actually plug this into a recording device. So that's nice. All right. Before one even turns the radio on, they are... Basically, hit in the head with thousands of options already. For example, you can set an alarm here. There you go, I have mine set for 757. Um, that's gonna be, let's see. Um, then, I, I should say that so I think there's four alarm settings. You can tell by the little bell icon that it's on. Um, let's see. With the radio still off, that TZ button that you see, um, or the line in button as well, that can actually let you adjust your time zones for around Mackley here. Like you got mine set to Denver because I'm closest to Denver. And, oops, I think it just switched to, like, hmm. So, it really does it in a weird pattern, but, um, how did I get this to work last time? There we go. So, I can use the page time to confirm a lot of things. And also, that's how you set the time on this thing, or, because of RDS, a station can set the time for you automatically. Before I actually turn this radio on, you can adjust the light settings on this. So it's so there's that, that, mmm. It requires a guitar purse on mine, but you can see there's a few options to go with. Let me just do it. Okay. Um, so. I've read a lot of reviews complaining that the light is not great with video, but I'm 
Unless it goes to like this, then it's really not been a problem for me. We are now 10 minutes into the video. Let's actually see this thing in action, shall we? We're starting on the FM band. On a further out station. Now, because they're playing music, I can't stay on there. But I did want to show you how powerful this radio can be. This is a, like, fringe semi-local. I mean, it's probably about 70 miles away from me. And, um, it's hard to get on most of my indoor radios. But here, it sounds good. Um, so to show you what the RDS looks like, let me switch over to a slightly stronger station. Before I do though, you might notice there's a little signal strength meter, um, RDS starts to come in about 5, um, really good strength is probably either 7 or 9, but this radio can... Really pick up the fringes as long as you move your antenna around. As you can see, I extended it proof um, most of the way, if not all the way. Um, oh, I forgot this thing has a weekday setting. Um, so, so actually, bonus points here because another. As uh, Scott's Bluffian station had its RDS come in at only four. So apparently, I'd like to you my spare time. <laughs> on YouTube, all about their adventures fishing for salmon and John's new venture as a snowmobile guide, and I know that's going to be fun. Go take a look, hmm. and you'll see why John was just too pretty to not. All right, so there's that. But, for that more local station, I present to you 105.5, the Colorado Sound, only, and I had to do that. There we go. Um, it's only about 37 miles away, and so, you know, strength is pretty good. I wanted to point out this particular example so you can see the time on it. As you can see, the RDS is pretty fast to pick up. Never mind. <laughs> By the way, you can move, you have to set it to RDS mode, I think, but then when you press um, ULSB, um, so by the way, here's what the radio sounds like. Next week on the show, they'll have Amy Ray of the Indigo Girls on Monday. Uh, Barty's Strange will be on Thursday and Friday, March 31st. Wow, March 31st is next Friday. Uh, the new pornographers will be the guest. All right, so this radio with a pretty solid-sized speaker. I haven't had any issues with it sounding tinny or anything like that, so I'm pretty happy with it. Is I Am Woman. One oh five five, the Colorado Sound. All right, so here we go. No text, no data. This one for some reason kept falling off. Let's see if eventually we can Let's see. Come on. Hmm. Let me try something a little bit closer to Tim here. Let's see. Okay. We'll see, you know, see when the label uh, decides the launch, the launch day will be, so. Awesome. Dave Fry <laughs> from Sidewalk Profits, thanks for catching up with us today. Thanks, Beth. I will say, despite the RDS coming in easy, even on link stations, the time feature is slow. You can literally have nine bars, don't know if you can see it all that well, and still have nothing. In fact, it actually just changed, so now it will scroll a timer across. Um, and you can potentially have your radio auto set to that. Let's see. Let's see. Hmm. So this thing definitely has my own here. 
So we saw how the time feature works, but how does general RDS works? Well, you get your PTY first, you have your name, and then you have radio text, then your time thing, and then back to PTY. Mm. Alright. So, let's see how good reception is on various stations. This one is... One that's usually pretty decent, but sometimes can be weak in my area. It's about 37 miles away, or what have you. Um, bad song choice, by the way. Um, so again, reads about five here. If you do it right, I'm making it. You can see that the RDS is coming in. Two point five. Huh. Usually their RDS is actually a song behind. <laughs> At least they got it on right this time. Mm -hmm. So, aiming for something a little further away. Um, again, I showed you some 70 mile, mile stations. And then go ahead. Oh, so you actually do have to. Never mind. Okay, so if I did one oh five one. Oh yeah. So we even got a hint of RDS there. So I'm pretty happy about that. And let's see. Like I said it's and its selectiveness is really good too. So there's some radius there. Then that's a local. Alright, moving on, we have the Airband. So there's a strong station, let's tune in for a second. Cheyenne Regional Airport, information November, weather at 0253 Zulu, wind 300 at 7, visibility 10. Ceiling 1, 1,000, overcast, temperature minus 4, dew point minus 1, 4, altimeter 2, 9, or 8, 4. And here was a previously active channel. Of course, there's nothing now, though. But it's like that on the airband. There you go. Now, I should say that, I mean, a lot of people have looked over this type of radio, so I don't really want to just drum it in any extra further, I really just want to show, like, how it works for my environment, and then allow you to sort of make that decision on, I mean, your own and with the help of other videos. Um, let's see. Moving on, though, to medium wave. Like, I mean, bounce cancel coming eventually people canceling to continue credits or credit stop and balance on required finance agreement due apple tv plus up to 499 value mobile.com and pressing wrong button yeah hey um due to some time constraints on my phone storage um, I will have to, uh, split this video out, video out, and make a part two, of which will feature more medium wave coverage, short wave, I'll see what I can do about long wave, um, and then I will review some of the extra features as well, and I believe that will about wrap it up. Again, Thank you for tuning in and please look forward to part two.